Welcome back. The details. Pilgrims cast purples in the stoning of the devil ritual marking the start of Eid al-Adha's holy day. This came at the Hajj pilgrimage which drew 900,000 visitors began winding down. We have more details. Hundreds of thousands of pilgrims threw pebbles on giant columns symbolizing Saturn on Sunday, part of the Hajj pilgrimage that has drawn to a close as Muslims around the world celebrated Eid al-Adha. Helicopters hovered overhead while security officers organized the flow of worshippers in al Jamarat, where the stoning ritual takes place as Saudi authorities closely watch the crowds to ensure an incident-free Hajj which has been marred in the past by deadly stampedes. Saudi Arabia has said up to one million pilgrims, mostly from abroad, are expected this Hajj season after two years of disruption caused by the COVID-19 pandemic, during which the authorities allowed only Saudi residents to perform the pilgrimage. That's down from some 2.6 million pilgrims who visited Islam's two holy sites in Mecca and al Medina for Hajj in 2019, and some 19 million others who attended the Umrah, a minor pilgrimage that can be performed at any time through the year. Men and women from 165 countries converged to Jamarat to perform the ritual from a three-story bridge erected to ease congestion. The Hajj started on Wednesday at the Grand Mosque in Mecca before an overnight stay in tents and prayers on Mount Arafat, where Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, delivered his final sermon. Ministry of Interior continues securing the celebrations of Eid al-Adha occasion for the second day on Sunday within the framework of its security plan for all sectors across the nation. The security forces launched an expanded campaign and traffic discipline on all axes and roads during the four days of Eid al-Adha's vacation. The General Traffic Administration provided services along Alexandra Matruh Coastal Highway Road to preserve safety, security and traffic fluid. The road was provided with fixed and moving electronic monitoring system to limit over speed and to commit with the determined speed rates over the road, particularly in the upgraded areas. The plan also included spreading forces at other access and highways through providing traffic services and relief vehicles to preserve the citizens' security and safety. Residents of Syria's rebel-held northwest may lose access.